everyone, um, I am back and I am finishing up my um, kind of 50s summer inspired bronze skin face. This is part two. If you missed part one, I will put a link in, in the description bar down below. Sorry, I'm just checking myself on frame. Am I recording? Oh, I am. Okay. Okay, I'm recording. Um, so I'll put a link in the description bar down below to that and I'll also try and put a link somewhere around there so you can just click on it if you want to see part one. Um, this may be sort of quick. Hopefully I don't have to record this too many times. The kids are here and they're a little err. Uh, so um, yeah, so we'll just, and I'll kind of be peeking over from time to time so I can see in the mirror if it's still recording. Because this camera sometimes will just all of a sudden stop recording. But anyways, um, this is going to be really simple to finish off the um, this look. The face is all the same products. Um, the reason I had to refilm, let me rewind, is that um, I filmed part one and part two back to back the same day. And I got part one uploaded, but part two would not upload. It wouldn't do it. I tried it like three or four different times. It just would never fully upload, or if it upload, it would never fully process, so I'm just redoing it. Um, so anyways, this is really simple. You can basically, you don't have to use the exact colors that I use um, as far as the eyes, but if you, like if you have a palette that's similar, because I don't know if e.l.f., which is what I'm using the main prep for the eyes, still has this palette. It's called the Natural Eye. It's number 30... 69 the natural eye and the shades look like this I ended up getting this at like a discount store so I don't know if they still have this exact one but it has like this kind of it's a little bit of a creamy white it's not pure white and then it has like a pale pink and it has this really weird like silvery color here I think you can see the color differentiation better there um, and then it has kind of like this kind of rosy pink um, this is like a bronze color and then this is like a dark matte chocolate brown. Um, I already did my eyebrows. I had that as part of the video before, but I'm just, my eyebrows are just, they're really bad right now. And I'm going to um, a class next week and part of the class is they're gonna do, eye, you're, they're actually gonna shape your eyebrows. So they're really difficult to fill in right now because I'm waiting for that. So anyways, let's get started. Um, I'm gonna start with the, Prime. I feel like e.l.f. shadows are actually pretty good, the studio line for the price, but just to make sure um, of longevity, I'm going to go ahead and use, I use the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil and Milk as a primer. I think it works like amazing as a primer. In fact, I don't even really use an eye primer anymore. I just use one of these like long wear cream shadow pencils and good to go. So I'm just going to kind of run this over my eye. Um, up to the the crease, kind of the eye socket, and then I'm just going to blend it in. Um, I like to use a white or like a creamy because I also, especially with the white, it really helps um, eyeshadow colors stand out, especially if you're trying to do like a white on the lid or a cream on the lid, which a lot of times can kind of tend to just like disappear on your lid because it ends up being so close to your lid color. And I have found that it's very hard to find a good like opaque white shadow. So using like one of these white pencils on the lid really helps to like make color stand out. I'm using like a lot. So I'm like a 13 year old girl. Sorry if I go out of frame. <laughs> um, okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this middle color, this kind of paler pink. These are all shimmery, especially this weird silver color, which I don't know why they included that in a natural eye, but whatever, that's not what this video is about. So I'm gonna take this lighter pink color and I'm gonna use that as my lower lid color. So I'm just gonna load my brush up with some color. And then because these are shimmer and because they're e.l.f., I have found that if you use one of these pencils and then pat it in, you kind of minimize fallout with these colors. 
So I'm taking it all the way from my inner tear duct, just all the way down, and just a nice pretty dusting on the lower Whoops. hazards of doing your makeup on the bathroom. Okay, so how are y'all doing? Are you doing well? Doing well. We are doing minor home improvements, I guess you would call them, and even though we're not like totally remodeling the whole place, it's still very stressful. Um, anyway, so that's what I have going on and why I haven't been filming a whole lot the last couple of weeks is because I'm in home improvement hell. Um, anyways, next we're going to take this darker pink, and this is going to be our transition color in the crease. So I'm taking a nice, fluffy blending brush. I'm going to go crease and almost all the way to the eyebrow, but not completely up in the eyebrow like area, but pretty close. So just windshield wipers, motions, and just get that all nice and blended. I find that like with e.l.f., and wet and wild, even though they're thought of as being cheaper, sorry, I know this is itching all of a sudden, cheaper shadows, if you really work with them and are willing to take the time to blend, they actually can give really, really good results. So, that's just my two cents on the matter. Okay. I was considering just doing one eye so I could really like take the time to show you guys the detail of just doing here. I have to kind of move like this because I need to check the little bit of a shadow from the light. Um, so what do you guys, I mean what do you guys prefer when you watch videos when people are doing eye looks? Do you like to see both eyes done at the same time? Do you kind of prefer like just having the focus on one eye so you can really like see all the detail that's going on? What do you guys like? Um, anyway, so next I'm going to take this dark chocolate brown with a um, more fluffier. That brush that I was using was a little bit more of a denser blush, um, blush. <laughs> um, blending brush. This one that I'm going to use next is um, a much softer blending brush. So it's not going to pick up as much color. So I'm just going to take a little bit of that brown and just put it in the lower part of the crease just for some definition to the crease. Um, you could even just keep this on. If you have like a really defined crease, you could really just kind of keep this on the outer part of your eye and not bring it all the way in. But I have a maturing hooded eye. It's getting worse the older I get. Every year it's getting a little bit worse. Um, and this side is dropping much quicker than this side. In fact, I feel like this side hasn't dropped and this side has, which is super annoying. <laughs> um, I think if I were to ever get anything fixed, like fixed, that's what I would do just for the ease of uh, doing my makeup and especially doing winged eyeliner. Like that's how vain I am. Like my winged eyeliner is so hard to do because of my hooded eyes. So I'm like, hmm, maybe someday I'll have the money like to get my eyes done just so that I can do winged eyeliner. I know that's horrible. Just kidding. Really. Um, I'm just going back with the original one. And I'm kind of buffing out any like really harsh lines from that darker shade because it did it was a little bit dark on that side okay so next what we're going to do is I'm just gonna take like a little tight crease pencil brush and I'm gonna go into this bronze color and roll it around here comes the munchkin hi mommy hi Betsy can I say hi can you come back when I'm all done and then you can say hi? Or can you wait till I'm all done and then say hi? Because I'm right in the middle of something. Um, what did you say? All right, come here. 
curry. Just really quick, okay? Somebody wants to say hello. Hello. Your hair looks pink in the camera. That's so weird. I don't know if that'll show up, but her hair, it's blonde, but it seriously looks like pink. How funny. I don't, that's because the picture is always, my hair is always looks like pink when I see my picture. Uh, okay, can you say bye-bye? Bye-bye. All right, <laughs> let me finish filming. I have pink hair. Yeah, you have pink hair. All right, see you later, bye. Oh, thank you. Don't what? tell mama got puppy. Okay. I mean grandma. Okay. Okay, so we are going to take um, this color and we're just going to go underneath and smudge it all underneath the uh, lower lash line to uh, bring that bronze look onto the face. Um, I don't do like super bronze eyes very often. It's not really my thing, but I do like this look and I love a good like bronzy brown underneath. Oops, I got this side a little darker. Um, underneath the eye, I don't know why. It's just my hang up, I guess. I'm not really into like the super bronzed eye on top. Anywho. Moving right along, we are going to take um, a nude liner, and I'll list down this description bar, everything that I've used. But we're gonna use a nude liner and just line the waterline on the lower lash line with that. I got shadow on that one. Um, you could also use white, or you can use nude, whatever you wanna do. Reference. Okay, oh, before I forget, for a highlight, because this palette does not have any matte shadows, and when it comes to my um, brow highlight, I prefer to do a matte. I'm going to use this um, eyeshadow quad from Physicians Formula. It's the Canyon Classics. It looks like these. If you guys seriously have not gotten the Physicians Formulas, matte these matte quad eyeshadows there's four of them no there's three you need to get these these are hands down the best drugstore matte eyeshadows i've ever 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 come across i know i've talked about them before but seriously if you've not bought them and if you're going to try one out i recommend the canyon classics it looks is that what it's called yeah it looks like this it is perfect for doing nude eye everything's turning out pink I don't know why. What is going on? There. This is not pink. Those are browns. I don't know what's going on. Well, it's weird. Anyways, um, these are just seriously like hands down like the best eyeshadows ever. They are amazing. So I'm just gonna add this in um as a highlight. They're just my favorites. They blend, they're so creamy. They're not chalky. I don't find them to be like powdery. They just go on and they look so amazing on and they blend like nothing else that I have found in the drugstores. You need to buy them. I think um, Ulta has the best price on these. I think they're under $7 at Ulta and I think like everywhere else they're around like $7.50 but I think at Ulta they're like six something. Um, so that is like the best place to get them. And then if you can find them on sale, you can get multiple of them. Okay, anywho, eyeliner. I'm just gonna do a really simple, kind of thinner winged, hopefully, fingers crossed, doing this on camera, eyeliner. I'm using the Wet n Wild Fergie um, eyeliner in Little Black Dress. I've kind of started using this again and sort of fallen back in love with it, although I've had it for so long that it is Kind of drying out so I don't know how much longer this is going to last because I've got basically the entire container full. <laughs> it's like one of those products where if you buy it unless you like use cream eyeliner or gel eyeliner, what do they call this? They consider this cream eyeliner unless you use it like every single day and use gobs of it. You'll have this for like a year. It'll probably dry out before you ever use 
it up. Okay. Do I do my good eye first or my bad eye first? Decisions. Let's go with the not so easy eye first and get it done and out of the way. Normally I don't do this one handed. Um, I have things on the list that I need to get to make filming easier. The first thing is I need like a tabletop standing, freestanding um, tripod so that I can have the camera tilted up and down. All right, you guys, I'm going to finish this video, even if I have to, even if it kills me. I finished my eyes, liner is done, and also mascara. I started doing my lip liner. This is all going to hell in a handbasket. So, using uh, from Senna Cosmetics, you know what, I'm just going to put the link, I'm just going to list everything down below. I'm using kind of like an apricot nude liner. Sorry the end of this is going so horribly. Um, but I'm going to use an apricot liner for first, nude liner on the lips. Um, I'm lining the lips and I'm shading the sides, which is what I started to do. And um, recording the end of this is not going well. And then the same for the upper. Now I can't get a straight line because I'm frustrated and my hands are shaking. Um, I don't know if Senna still makes this color or not. Um, but I really like it for this look. Next I'm using the NYX Matte Lipstick. It's either Hippie Chick or Hippie Chic. I don't know which one, how it's intended. But it's this crazy bright color and I love it with this lip liner and the effect it gives. So I hope you um, enjoyed uh, this video. Please um, subscribe if you haven't already. Um, I'm kind of low all of a sudden. My chin's getting cut off. Um, also, um, please like my video if you like it. If you don't like it, just whatever. Turn it off. Um, anyways, uh, next up is going to be my giveaway video. Finally, my subscriber giveaway video. Yay! Um, anyways, and I feel like I'm really low. Anyways, sorry. Um, yeah, that's it. I'm going to go before this turns off because it turned off like twice during filming and I had to just put a totally new SD card in. So clipping these two videos together, these two segmented videos together is going to be really interesting. Anyways, hope you all are doing well and let me know down in the description, would you rather just see me focus on one eye or do you like seeing the balance of both eyes? Because I feel like if I do one eye, I have more time to spend on how I actually blend because I do a lot of blending like that's the key to a really good eye um so if you like that style better let me know if you like just kind of the quicker ch -ch 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 all over the eye um, tutorials let me know because my camera really will only film maybe like 20 minutes max um on these SD cards and like that's all the time I have so for me that's I spend more time than that on my eyes, unfortunately. Um, anyways, hope you all are doing well, and I will see you next time. Bye!